Um, given how dangerous the situation is there, how do you go about really gaining confidence of all the contributors and maintain their confidence, especially when the violence grows? <coughs> Um, so, yeah, I, I guess everyone probably heard that, if I can hear it. Okay. <laughs> um, how did we maintain and gain the confidence of everyone? Um, it's a good question. I, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, I suppose, it, you know, with, with making any film, you, you know, you, you, half the film is, is making relationships. You know, half the battle with any documentary, especially, is, is the relationship that you have with the people you're, you're filming. And I think, you know, if, if you're not genuine about what maybe your intentions are, that, that would come across in the film because people maybe wouldn't want to, to speak to you. I, I spent 11 months on the ground over two years out, out in the park and, um, and over that period, you know, Rodrigue, Andre, they became, or Emmanuel, they, men and they all became very close friends. So, <clears throat> I, I don't know, I guess all the boundaries between, a lot of boundaries between filmmaker and, and the, the Subject as you know, they, they, were, they were broken because we hung out. There's not a lot to do in the National Park, funny enough, at night. You, you, you spend every moment of the day together, so we all became incredibly close. So, even you know, when all of this, the horrible stuff was happening, I, I, I was almost invisible, I was just there, I was part of the furniture. Um, and uh, I suppose that's how that relationship was maintained in, in the face of all the, the bad stuff.